So we all know how to export music from Rekordbox to a USB. But have you guys ever been in a situation where you wanted to import music from a Rekordbox analyzed pen drive into Rekordbox in your laptop? Yes? No? Maybe. But in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do just that. And I'm also going to share one awesome record box trick, which I can guarantee no one uses it. Well, almost. And all this in record box six. Let's jump right into it. Hello, teachers from YouTube. My name is Deep, and I hope you guys are alive and kicking. It's the 28th day of the lockdown here in India and this is the 8th video that I'm uploading in this lockdown and I can't tell you how happy this makes me because I've been doing this for 8 times now and I've been getting so many messages from DJs around the world who are asking me to help them with their DJ gear and things of that sort. I did try to help all of them out and they are happy as ever. I've also been getting so many comments down in the comment section about asking me for questions about DJing and things that they are facing, issues that they are going through. And I've been noting all of them down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my level best to make a video on each one of those topics so I can help more DJs who are trying really hard and who are learning something new every day. So if you are interested in something like that, or if you have any questions about anything related to DJing, please comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video. So before I teach you how to import tracks from a record box analyzed USB, I'm gonna teach you the right way of exporting your track from record box to a USB. And don't forget to stick around till the end so that you can learn the record box tip that I'm gonna give you, which no DJ ever uses. To export music to a USB, you simply connect the pen drive to the laptop, make sure it is formatted in the correct file system. You then click on the option Sync Manager and you will see this dialog box open up. On the top right corner, you can select the device you want to synchronize. Now you will have to check on this option which is synchronize playlists with a device. Select the playlist you want to sync into the USB and click on the right arrow. The synchronization will begin and you have now successfully exported your playlist into the USB. Now this is something which a lot of people might not know and even if they do, they might be doing it wrong. Let me explain. Now when you connect a record box analyzed USB, to the laptop, you open the folder and you don't see the music. You will see a folder structure where the music is organized by the artist and album. We don't want all that. And we can't just copy paste the music from here because that will not import the record box analyzed data like the cue points, etc. So that is why we have to import the music via record box. To do that, you open record box. This is version six and locate the playlist that you want to import. In this case, we are importing this playlist which is called Brazilian Bass. And you can see that it has all the record box data like the hot cues and its cue points. So we want to import this playlist as this is. One way is that you can right click on the playlist and click on the import feature, but that will move the playlist and put it at the bottom of the playlists in your laptop. And I don't like that. I would like it to be in my house music folder. So this is how you do it correctly. You first create a folder called Brazilian Bass in your music library within the house music folder. And then you go back to Rekordbox, drag and drop the playlist in your house music folder within Rekordbox. That is when this dialog box will open up and this is where you need to pay attention. You will see two options here, copy and do not copy. If you click copy, it will again create a folder structure organized by artist and album. We don't want all that. So we click on do not copy. This will only import the record box analyzed data and not the tracks. Once done, you will see that all your tracks are now in the playlist and you can see the hot cues are all still there. The thing you need to note here is that all these tracks are still located in your pen drive. And the minute you remove your pen drive, all these tracks will be considered missing. So we need to first copy these tracks into your laptop. So for that, what we need to do here is that we will select the playlist, 
we then select all the songs and drag all the files and drop them into your laptop's Brazilian based folder that we created earlier. We can now eject this pen drive. Now when you go back to your Brazilian based playlist, you will see an exclamation mark next to your track, which means that your tracks are missing. Obviously because we removed the pen drive, but we also copied the tracks to the laptop. So we are now simply going to relocate the tracks from your laptop and replace the file location. For that, you will have to select all files, right click and click on relocate. Relocate the tracks on your laptop and click OK. The missing file manager box will open up which will say, would you like record box to find other missing files? You simply click yes and that's it. All your record box analyzed files will now be imported from the USB to your record box playlist and within your laptop's music library. Time for the bonus tip and this is for all you DJs who watch this video till the end. Now what if I tell you that there is a way that you can create a playlist on the players while you're playing your DJ set. I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay, let me give you a scenario. You were playing in a club and you were playing by the ear. Now when I say you were playing by the ear, I mean that you did not know what song you were going to play next. You just went on with the flow and you saw that the people are enjoying. So you went on with the flow and kept playing whatever the mood demanded. And by the end of the night, everyone had a great time and they complimented you for your amazing DJ set. And you yourself were also very satisfied with your DJ set. So now you know that this DJ set was amazing and you might want to save that DJ set as a playlist. So you go back home, you have a nice sleep, you wake up in the morning, you open your laptop and you try to create the playlist that you played last night. And you have no clue because you have forgotten and you had no clue what you were playing last night. You were just playing by the ear, you were playing by the mood, you were just making sure that the people had a great time. And then you think, shit man, I wish I had recorded my DJ set. Exactly. And this happens to me a lot of times. Every time I play a crazy set, I wish that I could save it as a playlist and I do it. And I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Now, here's what you want to do. Every time you play a track and you get a great response, you simply need to hit the tag button. Okay. This adds this track to the tag list. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's just say that I want to add this track and this track and maybe this one and this one as well and so on. Now all these tracks are added and now the night has ended. You simply click on the menu button and you will see this option. You then click on the tag list menu and then you click on create playlist. Now when you click create playlist, a playlist is created and added to your record box analyzed pen drive. You can then go back and see that this new tag list is created and it's called tag list 001 or whatever the number is. Now that is saved in your pen drive. You simply remove the pen drive, go home and forget about it. The next time you open your laptop, you can then rename it and edit it to complete it. I use this feature so many times, especially when I was a resident DJ and I had to play rock and retro music every single day of the week and every day I had to have a different flavor of the rock and retro music. What I would do is every time I would start my set, I would tag each and every track that I played over the night and in the night, if I liked the DJ set, I would then create a DJ playlist and sometimes I would play tracks from these playlists when inspiration doesn't hit you or when you don't get to think of the right track because you were busy or you were talking to somebody and you just lost the focus and you had to select a track. I just go from this playlist and play any track because I know that any track within this playlist of that particular genre is going to make sure that people are having a nice time. It's a great feature and a lot of DJs don't use this. I don't know why. Maybe because most DJs don't know about this. But now you guys know it. The DV fam knows it. High five on that. So let me know guys, did you guys know this feature existed? And if you guys ever use it, if you guys did, if you guys knew this feature, why don't you comment in the comment section below and let us all know. Let's just see how many people actually knew about this feature. Now that's it guys. I hope you guys loved this video and I also hope that you guys learned 
something today. And if you guys want to learn more interesting things like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your support. That's been it. My name is Deep. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.